My name is Autumn T. Thomas, and my piece is called Forest for the Trees, and it is for the One Sheet exhibition at the Arvada Center. The idea came behind really kind of wanting to cut this large sheet of wood into strips and sort of kind of follow this repetitive motion. And so the bulk of my work, there, there is a lot of repetition in it and sort of um, what I get is like a meditative state uh, where I make a bunch of cuts over and over again. And so I wanted to kind of push that and explore what it means to, to sort of take one process and have to do it over and over again. And that, that sort of process also applies to life. And it was a moment where I, when I started this piece, uh, I was at, also at the beginning of sort of a new uh, state in my own studio life. And so it was, it was a moment to be able to sort of dig into the process of um, sort of kind of reaching a goal that I have is a long-term goal, but being able to take certain tiny steps in order to get to that goal and, and sort of forgetting about all the, all, the, all the extra steps that you have to take and just focusing on the details. And so the piece is sort of a, like me living in my uh, state of trying to be better and sort of trying to manifest bigger dreams and bigger goals. And um, yeah, so this is like a physical manifestation of that, that process. First, I started out really just by dreaming. Um, and sort of, you know, I'll, I'll go through this process of in, envision all the possibilities. Uh, it's really hard to articulate, but it's, it's necessary for me to sort of just like let anything happen in my head. And so then I start to pare down and think, okay, well, what's actually doable? And I come, I went into the studio and I basically cut this, you know, four by eight sheet into strips of about four inches wide. So then I, I started out with about, or I ended up with, uh, I think 27 strips. And so I um, got them all about the same size, you know, trimmed them up a little bit. And then I really just started curve cutting. Them. So I went, you know, strip by strip, adding uh, what's called curve cuts. And that allows the wood to sort of bend and become flexible. Uh, so once I had all those cut, 27 of them, um, then I poured resin in them in each one. And that resin sort of lets the wood hold its shape and then um, went to sanding. And so that's really, it's a lot of the, the curve cutting and the resin filling and the sanding, that's all the repetition. And that's all the, the sort of, you know, I think of it as grunt work sometimes, but it's 100% necessary. And you can tell, or I can tell if I skip a step or if I, you know, try to go a little faster than necessary, then the results, you know, the, the, the result is gonna be that I cheated on it. You know, like I feel like I didn't give it the fullest attention. Um, yeah, and so once once I got to the point where they're all sanded, then I started to put the base together, and that's that's where it feels like the pieces actually sort of coming together. Um, and I, I feel, you know, that's where the, the the pride starts to build because you can see it coming together, and you can see it uh, sort of uh, coming as a whole. So what inspires me to use wood is there's there's a certain tactile nature of wood that. Um, you know, I honestly don't know. I'm sort of called by the ancestors to work with it. Um, I'm, I'm trained in like printmaking and book arts. And so the exploration of wood sort of crept up on me. Um, and, you know, I, I started working with wood about five years ago and sort of just like fell in love with it. Um, uh, yeah, and so I, I think there's a lot of uh, being able to just like work with my hands and, and sort of mold the wood into different shapes. Um, it feels like a natural calling.